Hey guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedesp.net. In my previous videos I showed you some cool optimizing techniques with expression trees and I mentioned numerous type, times that the compilation of the expression trees is actually the slow part. So uh, in this video I'm going to show a simple way to improve the compilation of our expressions okay so i'm going to use the same almost the same code as the previous video if you missed it you can watch it because it will explain what is this property helper here and what we are trying to create but in a nutshell we are trying to create a faster property getter when we have uh, reflection properties and we want to extract property values from an object so essentially I'm trying to create from this object here this dictionary where I have the name of the property as key and the value of the properties value to that key one of the ways to do it was with reflection and we create the faster way by using expression trees and by using this code here. Since we noticed that the compilation is a little bit slow, we decided to use a cache. In some situations, uh, you cannot use a cache and you need to compile every time. So how to improve the compilation itself? It's very easy actually because there's already a new get package for that but first I'm going to remove the cache and currently without a cache this property helper is a little bit slow for 20,000 operations it will take five to six seconds maybe seven okay great now i'm going to create property helper fast to add a faster compilation of course it's always to use a pre-cached function so the cache here is completely fine you don't need anything else but in a situation I'm currently imitating a situation where I don't uh, know how to cache or I don't have the option to cache so I need to compile every time so if I have such situation I may use a new get package called fast fast expression compiler it's essentially the same and the api is all, almost the same but it allows you to uh, it removes some of the type checks from your code which make it a little bit faster but you should know what you're doing if your expressions are not uh, are not safe you're going to receive some sort of an exception so if you want to use the fast uh, the fast expression compiler make sure you test your expressions first so that it they work correctly let's see how to test the fast version i'm going to copy this i'm going to restart the stopwatch I'm going to say fast expression tree and I'm going to use fast. I'm going to install the NuGet package. It's fast expression compiler, but first I would like to thank my sponsors. If you know, you may already know that I'm creating open source libraries for ASP.NET in my free time and I'm running a donation campaign on Patreon and Open Collective. PayPal is also accept acceptable for one time donation. So, if you would like to support this channel or would like to 
uh, help me with my projects, I would be extremely thankful. You will motivate me to continue sharing my knowledge for free. And the options are Patreon and Open Collective. Both are completely fine. I will be extremely thankful. If you know or work for a company that wants additional exposure, uh, that company can become a sponsor too. So I would be very thankful if you can help me with that. Current sponsors are Softuni, Smart IT, and Noble Hire. Thank you guys, you truly rock. And now let's continue with the Fast Expression Compiler. We need to install Fast Expression Compiler if you if we only want to compile expressions, but there's another thing, you can use a light expression if you create expressions, you can use it. It won't have all the types checked, type checks, so you should be careful. The exceptions won't be uh, that descriptive. So I'm going to install both of them so that we can test how to use them. First, let's see what will happen if we if we remove I'm going to use the fast one. If we remove some sort of a valid type check with our expression, we will receive an exception. that some sort of an exception is not compatible and that's completely fine now let's switch to not using system link expressions but let's use using fast expression compiler light expression let's use this one and i'm just going to remove the system link expressions because the api is identical and currently the light expression provides a static expression class which I'm going to use. As you can see, the expression class is currently used by the NuGet package and not the default one, so this should improve my performance. The API is exactly the same and we have a compile fast overload here. So if I call compiled fast, it should use better compilation a faster one and let's see how it behaves without without any type checking it's working fine however when you try to use something from that expression for example let's get the value let's get the getter here let's get the value and if i'm going to reduce the number of calls just to we're receiving a fatal error internal cor error so if you're not if you have not tested your expressions correctly or if you have uh, if you're not sure don't use the fast the fast expression because it won't do any type checkings so make sure you know what you are doing if you want to use only the compile fast version so let's remove that and let's use system.link expressions the compile fast the compile fast uh, extension method is available even for the basic expression trees which have the type safety so you can use it if you want so let's try to use the compile the compile fast here and we can see that even with normal expressions 
it's faster. So let's make them 1000. Normal expressions compile for 0 0.5 and fast expressions compile for 0 0.3. So, and it's working correctly because my expressions are correct. So what you lose if you use uh, the fast expression, the fast expression compiler is that you will not have that great descriptive error messages and you will not have that type safety type safety but if you're sure your expressions work correctly you can use the light expression for now i'm currently using only the basic expression which comes from the dotnet and i'm compiling it fast and this gives me a nice improvement of 25% uh, you can even check because the compile fast method uh, fallbacks to the normal compile method the slower one if it cannot compile so you can check whether if it returns no if it returns no if you provide a true value here you can check whether it returns no this true value here means that it won't fall back so if your expression cannot be compiled fast you will know that uh, because it was a no value return from the function okay and let's try to improve that even more by using the light expression version because i'm currently knowing that my expression trees are working correctly I can use that and see whether it will further improve my code. It has a little bit of improvement. So you can improve your expression tree compilations in three steps. First, the normal step is when you don't use any third party library and you just use the normal compile the second step is to use only the compile fast method it will improve your expression tree compilations and the third step is to include the light expression but make sure your expressions are working correctly and you know what you are doing or at least you have lots of unit tests for that code to make sure that you won't receive any strange exceptions because strange exceptions won't give you why your code failed okay that was it guys i hope you liked this video if you liked it hit the thumbs up button below and leave a comment if you would have some sort of a topic you want me to include in my channel if you have a suggestion, let me know. Take a look at the Fast Expression Compiler repository. At some situations, it may be 10 times, even 30 times faster by using Compile Fast. Take a look here, they have great measurements, so it's very, very nice. Um, the best the best performance improvement is when we have parameters and closures constant expressions like this one then you have a lot quite an improvement the compilation will be a lot faster okay so that was it if you like my video thumbs up comment and again if you want to support me to continue sharing my knowledge for free you may do that on patreon or on open collective or of course paypal even a simple star is quite a great support so i will be thankful if you decide to do that bye for now